Forrester has been a technology company for a very long time. So our fundamental business is, is, is investment research and, and data and, and tools to help support the investment making decision, as well as some investment management. And actually, Morningstar has had a number of um, internal APIs that it used to power its products for a very long time. We introduced Apogee a few years ago as a way to try to get better um, uh, control, governance, visibility, um, and, and kind of a, a better developer experience to the internal API set. So the original idea was to, to take all these great APIs we've developed internally that we're using to power our products and to start packaging them up and to deliver them um, to, to both to our, extra, to our external customers as well. This was, I mean, I, I think that the, at the very beginning it was a pure technology thing, but it quickly turned into a business, a business initiative. Hey, this is all one morning star, right? We need to, we, need, we want to change the, the client experience, what our, what our clients see. We have APIs that were developed by the retail team, by the BD team, by the asset management team. They're all going in the common Morningstar API platform powered by Apogee and something we can offer to all customers. So it kind of, I guess it started on the technology side and evolved and, and kind of uh, fits very nicely with some of the business initiatives. There. A, a lot of it goes to, does it meet the customer's needs? And I, I specifically choose the word, I, I mean, when I say customer, I don't necessarily mean an individual like a mobile developer sitting in Palo Alto, right? It, it, the customer might be a internal, another internal team in Morningstar. So, so a lot of our APIs actually are internal only, and, but we, we build them into the common Morningstar API platform and we treat our internal developers just like our external developers. So an API, an individual API is successful if it meets those developers, those customers' needs, right? Whether those customers are other Morningstar employees, uh, partners, or clients of ours. Um, you know, and you kind of, you see, you essentially see the, the success of the APIs kind of as uh, it ultimately gets reflected in what APIs take off and get lots of traffic and what, you know, which APIs aren't so popular. A, a API that's very popular that people are using more and more is itself, you know, almost successful by definition. So, so Morningstar fundamentally is, is a data, it's a data business. Data is the core of everything we do. Um, it's, it's kind of our bread and butter. Um, we, use, we use APIs, there's really two sides of that question, I think. So one side of it is, Morningstar collects a lot of, like, say, mutual fund equity data, and we collect it and store it and, and provide our own proprietary um, uh, analytics on top of it, like the Morningstar star rating, and then we, d we deliver that to customers through various channels, like through, through data feeds or APIs or, or products. In that case, data is, that, that concept of data is core to Morningstar. That's, that's, that's our business, right? That's the, the main part of our business. The other side of that question is, the, the data that we collect, that we observe through customer usage patterns, right? So which, which, uh, you know, which APIs are more popular, which APIs are less popular, um, uh, what, you know, and kind of understanding why that occurs. And that's, that, we're, I think we're, we're, we're much earlier in the journey. Um, I think we, you know, we are doing some very interesting things in certain places in Morningstar about how we kind of analyze that, that kind of behavior. Um, but that's, that's kind of much less mature, I would say. Um, the API platform started with a simple vision. We want to take all of our Morningstar, internal Morningstar APIs and put them together into a single platform so that from a developer point of view, I can pick and choose and use whichever APIs I like. And the, from when I, as a developer, as I move from API to API to API, it feels, you know, it's, it's, it's an easy move. It, they feel like they fit together, you know, how I authenticate this is the same. They kind of look and feel and act the same. So we started with, we want to build an API platform. And then we also said that how we, we want to treat our internal developers the same as we treat an external developer. So all the things that you need to do to support an external developer to, to help make them successful. Things like uh, your, your developer portal and great documentation and the ability to sign up and trial accounts and, like, um, and even some of the, the more, I guess, esoteric things like detecting uh, and preventing accidental or uh, deliberate misuse. All those things that you have to apply to external developers, at scale you end up having to apply to internal developers uh, as well. So we said, we want a platform that can help us bring this vision together, a single common global API platform that helps us expose and uh, expose our APIs together, provide things like developer portals and, and also some things like authentication, uh, analytics, 
the abuse detection and prevention, and so, uh, and so we chose Apogee to help. I, I definitely think Morningstar is very API first. So a lot, of our, um, a lot of our newer initiatives actually are around not just APIs as pure ways to access data, but also APIs as almost like reusable UI building blocks, right? So, so for example, Google Maps itself is an API, and it, it just allows me to embed a map in my web page or uh, in my mobile app. Um, we are doing a lot, um, we, we are in, currently investing a lot in our initiative basically to have those kind of reusable UI kind of building blocks and they are, for all intents and purposes, an, an API, a JavaScript API. We end up using Apogee for a lot of the same purposes and, and that's actually fundamental to the future of how we're building uh, applications at Morningstar. We actually expect to do a lot more of this kind of um, making applications almost mashups of either the underlying just raw data APIs or the combinations of the raw data APIs as well as the, these kind of reusable UI building blocks. Like I want a chart of this here, I want this whole uh, laid out table here and you kind of can, dr uh, can drop these components in your, in your front end applications that we can deliver to customers. Start small and focus on getting on the, essentially the, the team and the division responsibilities and organization right. So one of the mistakes that Morningstar made early on I think was to not have some of the right people and some of the right roles to help make the whole program successful. Because if you're going to deliver, if you're going to deliver an API platform and you and you expect it to take off, the there's a lot more than just is the API fast, is the API reliable. I mean, that's those are important. Those have to be done. But there's also the how do you make the developer experience. Uh, as 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 easy to use as powerful. How do you how do you provide you know great documentation, sample code, just that whole that whole onboarding experience where like I can go to say to Google Maps you know and I know nothing about it and I can have I have sample code that I can copy and paste and I could be using it instantly. And how do you provide that experience to to the developers uh, that you intend to use the APIs? I love APIs. Well, uh, the developer in me loves APIs because it allows me to essentially to mash up, um, to build applications that nobody's thought about, and kind of and bring together functionality uh, that um, you know in different new combinations that maybe nobody's thought thought of. So it just it adds to my to the tools in my toolbox that allow me to create more uh, unique and innovative and innovative applications. But the 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 API author in me, the, the, it's almost like a, it's almost like being a, a teacher, right? Where when you, it, it's not so much about doing the work, it's about enabling others to do the work, to be successful, right? So, so it becomes very kind of, it's very, I, I imagine teachers kind of get the, a very similar sensation when they see a student really get something and build some, and do something that they didn't expect. And I think, I think as, an, as an API provider, when you kind of, when you look and you see the, all the things, all the, all the applications that people built using your APIs and they use it in creative ways that you never expected, that's, uh, that's really exciting.